Hi, I'm Vanessa from NUH. Follow me to learn about my day in the life of a child psychologist. So as a child psychologist at NUH, I see a range of patients. So they may range from 8 to 18 years old with mental health conditions. Some of them may present with anxiety, depression, personality disorders and um, trauma. Some of my patients have difficulty accepting their chronic illnesses and so they may grieve over the loss of their identity or freedom and some of them may also experience mental health stress from brought about by their chronic illnesses. The younger patients um, under 8 years old are seen by our play therapists or our team at the Child Developmental Unit. My clinic takes place either in the morning or afternoon. Besides outpatient consultations, I see patients in a ward, run group therapies and do administrative work when needed. So generally for initial assessments, um, I'll have an in-depth interview with the child to understand the difficulties that they're experiencing their strengths, their interests, and also how they perceive their family and their social interactions are like. Depending on how old they are, I will also speak to the parents to understand their developmental history. I also conduct psychometric assessments to assess for IQ, learning disorders, or neurodevelopmental disorders. I generally use an eclectic approach to therapy, which means I draw on to various theoretical orientations and techniques to suit the needs of the patient. Um, one of the therapies I use is schema therapy, which aims to address the unmet needs of the patient and help them develop healthier alternatives to their deep-seated patterns of behaviour. I often ask my patients to focus on the here and now emotions as this will help them process and learn how to cope with those feelings. Sometimes that may involve exploring their feelings with me in the current moment. And at times, if the feelings are too strong, we engage in a grounding exercise where, you know, where I'll ask them to f look at five things they can see, four things they can touch, and it just goes down with the other five senses. So after I've finished um, the sessions with the patients, I will take some time to document any changes in conceptualization, um, the progress made and the work that we have done in the session. Well, I just received a message of a patient who I need to review in the ward. So for three days a week, I go to the ward to see admitted patients who require psychological support. So generally for an inpatient session, we were just to understand their difficulties, just like an initial assessment. And if they are suitable and it's necessary, we'll see them as outpatient after they are discharged. I also visit the ward twice a week to to work with a multidisciplinary team of uh, paediatrician and other healthcare members um, to kind of understand the difficulties of the patients and triage them to see what kind of psychosocial services they, they will need. I joined NUH as it offers me an opportunity to work with individuals with a diverse range of mental health conditions. I also get to design and implement group therapies, one of which is the family-centred care programme in which you know, we support the families of children with chronic illnesses. Uh, this is not available in many hospitals, so it's a really rare opportunity. As a child psychologist, most of us we will work with children and adolescents, but with this programme I actually work with adults as well. So we provide mental health support for the caregivers of our young patients. The idea is that when they have the space to explore and process their difficulties and develop skills, they may have more capacity to support their children and this will in turn improve the quality of life of the patients and the management of their condition. When I was young, I went to a preschool with a classmate with Autism Spectrum Disorder. Um, over the years, I've aspired to be a child psychologist um, to support children and adolescents with mental health issues, lead a more meaningful life. To me, psychology work is similar in all workplaces. What makes work more enjoyable is the culture of the place of practice that I'm at. One of the things actually I really appreciate about NUH is that they are willing to support us to upscale ourselves, to learn about new causes in terms of um, therapy approaches or diagnostic tools. 
so that we can keep up with the changing demands of our work. If it's relevant to NUH, they may even provide funding to sponsor us. And some of my colleagues have even gone overseas for their causes. NUH also arranges for our team of child psychologists, art therapists, play therapists and child life therapists to have money group supervision with an APRA approved supervisor from Australia. This is a very rare opportunity in local hospitals. These sessions are useful for our professional growth as they help hone our skills and provide us with different perspectives on how to approach a case. I usually have lunch with our colleagues and we may share about our day, be it professional or personal life. We are always supportive and happy to help each other out when there are difficult situations at work or when there are challenging patients to work with. I think for many people, they think that working in a public hospital um, would mean a very heavy workload and very little work-life balance. In actual fact, our workload is heavy. Um, at the same time, we do have a work-life balance. So for me, I think self-care is actually the most important thing for a therapist so that we can have a long and meaningful career. Personally, I do not work on weekends. I don't normally do and I would typically get off work on time. So one of my colleagues actually shared this with me and I really resonated with it a lot um, is that an important trait of a psychologist is attunement and attunement is the ability to be aware of and respond effectively to the needs of the patient because without attunement we will not be able to understand their internal states and, and respond to their needs accordingly. A patient who I remember fondly is an adolescent who was struggling with a lot of traumatic experiences. Um, very often in the session, she would lash out at me, say, you know, displays her feelings and thoughts um, on me, which is what we call projection. She would also then say very mean things to me that can be very hurtful. I think at one point I felt very lost as to what, how can I better help her. So I continued therapy with her with supervision, and at the end of the therapy, where you know she was going to be discharged. It was very memorable because she teared and she shared that she would miss the sessions. It, it may not sound very much, um, but for someone who has difficulty relating to people, that actually meant a lot to me. Well, that's the end of my day. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you and bye!